All right, what I want to do is show you guys how to find the slope between two points. When we're trying to find the slope, a couple, there's a lot of different ways that we uh, like to describe slope. One of the most common ones is slope is rise over run. And what we mean by rise and run is how, thing, how much between two points, how far, um, what is the distance that um, your graph or your change in elevation has risen and how far has it gone left or right. So we need to go ahead and define that distance. We need to find the change. So um, let's go and look. Slope, very commonly referred to as rise over run. And what does that really mean? What is really the rise or run? Well, what that really is, is the change we're going to write as delta y over delta x. And what this means is the change in y over the change in x. Well, that's kind of craziness. Why, what, give me a better thing. Give me a better way to write that. All right. Well, if we have two points, we can label, if we have two points, we can label our points x1, y1, and y1, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So I'm going to look at these two points, and I'm going to go ahead and label them. It doesn't matter how you want to label them, which ones are x1 and which one's x2, but I'm going to say this one be x1, and this one's y2, <laughs> y1. This one is x2, and this one is y2. Okay? So, because you, you remember on a, on a coordinate point, you have your x and your y, your x and your y. However, you can't both label these x, y, so we use subscripts to differentiate between the two points. All right? So now, if I know that my slope is the change in y over the change in x, all I'm going to do now is just like we learned before, to, now we're just going to evaluate and plug in our values into our equation for slope. All right? So I just take my y2, which is a negative 8, minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is 3, minus, I'm going to put in parentheses, a negative 1. Remember, I'm going to keep those parentheses just to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes, making any mistakes with my negatives. So a negative 8 minus 4 has become a negative 12, and 3 minus a negative 1. Um, these are going to, the two negatives are going to cancel each other out, and it's going to become a uh, positive positive 4, negative 12 divided by 4, now becomes a negative 3. So therefore, our slope is a negative 3. And a lot of times, just to let you guys know, a lot of times when you're graphing like a negative 3, and you need to say, oh, well, it's not in, it's not in a rise or a run. What's the rise or a run? Well, remember, we can always keep that. Whenever you need to change a whole number, if your whole number is your slope, and you always need to have it at, in a fractional form, just remember, you can always put it over 1, guys. That's your fractional form, but it means the exact same value. All right? So that's how you find um, the slope between two points.